it's LPS Honey and I gotta admit I'm using this pet because it just looks so gorgeous against all the pink and white in the background. So first of all, thank you all so much for the real awesome positive feedback on my Minnie Mouse kitchen. And so today I went out and bought some of the blind boxes which I talked about in that video. I bought six of them and about halfway through this video I'm going to get my mum and dad to open one each because they really love getting involved in my videos. So I thought I'd let them do one each. So yeah, but I'm going to open the other four. So I'm not going to dawdle around, I'm just going to jump straight into it. So let's get on to the opening. So here's what the blind box looks like. It's shaped like a little storybook and it's called Happy Places, I'm guessing Disney Collection. I'm not really sure what the official name is, but this particular line is called Happy Places. And I just realized I'm still holding my Minnie Mouse cupcake. Oh well. Um, but yeah, this is what it looks like. You get three surprise home decors and one tile. They're kind of like floor tiles which you can click together to make a little flooring area which is pretty handy. And then on the side it looks like we have some pages and then on the back it shows you the three different collections you could get inside. So you could get Cinderella, Belle or Minnie Mouse. I'm hoping for some Cinderella and Minnie Mouse. I do love Beauty and the Beast but from what I've seen the accessories that come with the Belle theme aren't that exciting to me. On the other side we just have Happy Places and Disney licensing and of course these are made by Moose Toys and it just tells you more about what you get inside. So, I'm super excited to see what's inside these, so let's open it up. Alrighty, so I bought my handy dandy scissors in, because I actually forgot them, but I'm just going to quickly cut off the plastic wrapping and then we can open it up. Alrighty, let's open it up. Oh, so straight away it says you have found Cinderella Home Decor. That's pretty cool. It's really like a little storybook. And then we open up this level. Oops. So here is our little tile that we get. It has the love hearts, which I'm holding upside down. <laughs> there they are. And then our accessories are in here. And then there's also a little checklist, which I'll show you guys soon. So our little accessories are in here. So I'm just going to quickly cut this open. Alrighty, so here's what we got inside. So I'm guessing this is like a little pencil case. These remind me so much of like pencil cases from like primary school. Um, it just opens up and then it also came with a tiny little pencil which has kind of like a pearlescent slipper on the top for Cinderella. And then I believe this oops, is a pencil sharpener, I think. Oh, okay. Is it meant to be like that? I think so. So yeah, this is where you sharpen your little pencil up. That is cool. And I think the pencil actually fits inside as well. Yep, there we go, our little pencil pack. So like always, let's take a little look at the pamphlet we get inside. So, we have Minnie Mouse here which looks like it's all food themed. And then we have some limited editions. Oh, I'd really love to get the Minnie Mouse pie and smoothie. Those look cool. And then on the other side, we have Belle, who's kind of more like dining table themed, but there's also some food. And then Cinderella is kind of like bedroom slash craft themed. So yeah, I got, uh, where is it? This little pack here. Pencil sharpener, pencil holder, and pencil. So there's our little collector's guide done, let's move on to the next box. So because you guys have already seen me cut open the plastic, I'm just going to do this off camera to do it really quickly. Alrighty, box number two is Belle. So let's see, open it up, we got our little tile, oh and something just fell. So we have our little tile here, and what is this? Oh okay, so it's like a little apple pie recipe kind of. That's pretty cool. Then we have our accessories oh, and our checklist. So I'm just going to open this quickly off camera to save some time. So here's what we got inside. Of course we got our little apple pie. I'm guessing this is like a little menu. We got one little apple by itself and a little fruit bowl which you can take the lid off. And then a little group of apples which you can also take out. 
So this is a pretty simple one. I do really like how the little apple is shaped, but I feel like this is more maybe um, Snow White than Belle, but I really like the design. Alrighty, on to the next one, but before I open this up, I'm going to hand you over to my mum and dad so you can see what they got in their boxes. Okay, now I'm with my mum, Mama B, and she's going to be opening up one of these little blind boxes. So, open away. Hi everyone. Just oh, get in there. My stick's pretty tough. So this is what the box looks like, and if you open it up, it says that you have Minnie Mouse home decor. So go ahead and see what we got inside. Oh, this is the exciting part. So that's the little tile flooring piece there. And then inside there is the accessories. Okay, Mama B, what did we get? We got a teapot, mm -hmm. a cup and spoon, yep. and the little menu to tell us what we have. Yep, and the lid of the teapot is removable. Ta-da! And you can also take the spoon out. I just put it in there so you can yep. see what it looks like. And that's the perfect accessories for Mama B because she needs a cup of tea now. Yes. Thank you for coming, Mama B. We're going to go over to Dad now. Okay, bye everyone. Okay, now I'm here with my dad and he's also going to open a box. Hello. So go ahead. Disney one, okay. And what one did we get? Another Minnie Mouse one. Ooh, is that going to be a double? I don't know, there's lots of Minnie Mouse ones. But we get a tile, a floor tile. Yep. And then that's where the accessories are inside. And then a checklist at the bottom. Ta-da! So here's what came inside. Okay, we've got a, a bread box. And inside we have some... Mickey bread. bread. Mickey bread. See where the lines in there where the slices are. Mm. Pretty cool. And we have here a butter dish. Yes. So that's everything that came inside. Thank you for opening one up, Dad. You're welcome. Bye. Bye. Alrighty, welcome back to my unboxing. So here is our next box, which is the third box that I'm going to be opening. So I'm just going to cut it open. So box number three is Cinderella. So let me just open it up. There is our little floor tile our accessories and our checklist. So here's what we got inside the Cinderella box. It looks pretty small but that's because everything can fit so nicely together. So we got a little sewing box and I love how the Cinderella ones all have like pearlescent colours. We also got a little ball of yarn with some knitting needles with little glass slippers on the end. And then we also got a little pair of scissors. And it's really cool because they can all fit inside the little box. So, it is time for the final box. And our final box is another Cinderella. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy I didn't get too many bells. And I also already have a lot of Minnie Mouse stuff from my kitchen. So I'm actually really happy I got more Cinderella. So again, our little tile. Here is our accessories. And then at the back, our little checklist again. So here's the accessories inside. Sadly, I didn't get any limited editions, but I will definitely be getting more of these because they are really, really cool. So we got a little hair dryer, which has a little glass slipper on it. We also got a little mirror, which I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it has a little clock tower inside because, of course, Cinderella has to keep track of the time. And then we also got a little comb. So these will definitely be handy for LPS videos, especially when you're doing like kind of getting ready in the morning scenes or stuff like that. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. It is the bonus unboxing police. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cringy. But um, while I bought these little Shopkins blind boxes, 
I also picked up an LOL surprise doll, and holy cow, this is huge. Um, but this is from Series 2, and we're on the Series 3 now, so I was actually surprised to see this in store. But I'm really hunting for this one here, Kitty Queen. I want her so badly. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd just get one and try my luck, you never know. So yeah, I'm just going to open this up quickly as a little bonus unboxing, because I don't really know where to put it. Like, I don't think it deserves its own video, so oh, please focus on me. So I thought I'd just insert it into this video. So yeah, let's open it up. So I'm sure most of you guys have probably heard of these already. You get seven different surprises, stickers, a little message, um, bottle, shoes, outfit, accessory, and of course the doll. So yeah, it's pretty noisy when you like rip this open. So I am going to open it on camera, but I'll just be muting the video because I don't want you guys to just hear crinkle, crinkle, crinkle all the time. So our little hint is trophy winner and I don't think that is a rare one. So I'm just going to continue opening it. So here's the little bottle. Here's her little shoes, and I already know who this is. It's a little ice skater. I actually already have her, so I'm just going to open up this last layer. Here's her little outfit. And here's the doll, and her little accessory is a little um, pacifier. Like I said, I do already have her, but I'll dress her up and show you guys what she looks like. And also, I just want to mention one thing. This isn't the full collection of Series 2 dolls. It's like a weird re-release, I guess. You can only get these dolls here. So you can't even get Kitty Queen, which is kind of annoying because I bought it hoping to get Kitty Queen because she's on the packaging. But yeah, you can only get these ones here, which sucks. Um, and apparently they also re-released some of the Series 1 balls, but I haven't seen any of them. But yeah, that kind of sucks. I wish they would market them better because I bought it hoping to get her and she's not even in here. But here she is. She's one of the cutest dolls they've ever done in my opinion and I love her pearlescent outfit. But I'll probably end up either trading her away or selling her. But there is a look at her. So guys, that was everything. I hope you guys enjoyed and let me know what was your favourite item in the comments down below. Mine was probably the Minnie Mouse teapot set. I think that's really cute. But yeah, I'll definitely try and get some more of these blind boxes in the future because I think they're really awesome and really handy for creating little cute scenes with LPS. But anyway, like always, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and of course subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys, have a cupcake.